Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Pace Studio in New York City. We are here with the legendary Rodney Crowell. Welcome. Thank you, Hillary. Um, what's the first song you're going to be playing for us today? This is called It Ain't Over Yet. And uh, it's actually on the recording on the album, Close Ties, which is my new record, as you know. Um, it's something I did kind of as a trio with uh, John Paul White and Roseanne Cash. But uh, they're not here to defend themselves, so I'm going to take their parts as well. I'll let the audience figure out what that is. It's like I'm sitting at a bus stop Waiting for a train Exactly how I got here it's hard to explain My heart's in the right place What's left of it, I guess Ah, but my heart ain't the problem It's my mind that's a total mess And these rickety old legs And these watery eyes It's hard to believe That I could pass for anybody's prize And here's what I know about The gifts that God gave Ah, you can't take them with you When you go to the grave It ain't over yet Ask someone who ought to know Not so very long ago We were both hung out to dry It ain't over yet I'll say this about that You can get up off the mat You can lay that till you die It ain't over yet For fools like me Who were built for the chase It takes a right kind of woman To help you put it all in place And it only happened once in my life Man, you should have seen Her hair two shades of foxtail red Her eyes some far out sea blue green I got caught up making a name for myself uh, You know what that's about one day your ship comes a rolling in The next day it rolls right back out It ain't over yet You can mark my word I don't care what you think you heard We're still learning how to fly It ain't over yet I say this about that You can get up off the mat You can lay that till you die It ain't over yet Back when down on my luck Kept me up for days You were there with the right word To help me crawl out of the maze When I'd almost convinced myself That I was hipper than thou oh, You stepped up with a warning shot Spired sweet and low across the bow You don't walk on water And your sarcasm stings but the way you move through this old world Sure makes a case for angel wings I was halfway to the bottom When you threw me that line And I'll quote you now verbatim Get your head out of your own behind It ain't over yet What you wanna bet One more cigarette Ain't gonna send you to the grave It ain't over yet I've seen your new girlfriend She thinks you're the living in A great big old sparkle in her eye It ain't over yet
That was great. Thank you. Felt right at home with that applause. Oh, good. <laughs> so like you said, your new album, Close Ties, is out on March 31st. That's and right. it is your 15th studio album. Is it? According to the internet, which of course is always correct. Okay, 15 of them. <laughs> you would think over the, as long as I've been doing it, I'd have more output than that. Well, no, I made a few other ones. So I made a couple of duets with Emmy Lou Harris and a couple of short lived band projects. So I'm close to 20. Actually. Well, and I'm sure this doesn't include any producing efforts and other collaborations, like you said. This well, was that, purely yeah. solo albums. Purely solo. Okay. Fifteen it is. <laughs> well, I read that you described it as, quote, a loose concept album. And I was wondering if you could elaborate on that idea. Well, I, I, I'll amend that. I don't like the, the notion of concept. Maybe it's a loose continuity album. Um, concept connotes... Days gone by, you know, back when uh, it seems a little pretentious anymore. But basically, Close Ties of Record is written from my perspective. Well, my perspective, you know, 18 months ago when I was writing most of the songs for the record. And on into this past year, a lot of my close friends left the planet to go on to wherever they, wherever that reward is. And... Uh, uh, you know, it would be disingenuous if I didn't say that that found its way into the narrative, even about the song I just played, It Ain't Over Yet. It's a song that I wrote while my friend Guy Clark was making his way out of this world. And uh, so from I would say it's, it's, it's looking back from the present moment rather than trying to go back and be in that moment. That makes sense. What's the next song you're going to play for us today? I think what I'll do now is play a song called East Houston Blues. Uh, if this hour I let my voice will deliver, we'll, we're going to find out right about now. Well, I grew up hungry And I grew up hard Ran the streets in the alley from my own backyard I got a break in it On my list of crimes Been before the judge One too many times East Houston blue Scale of one to ten About a nine and a half Where it's always been It's in a drink and water And in a bar ditch mud East Houston blues gets in a poor boy's blood. I learned to drink and drive when I was 12 years old. My uncle Fireball started, rest his ragged soul. Here in a 54 Ford, up and down the drag, sipping early time, straight from a paper bag. East Houston blues. Picture Dowling Street and Navigation Boulevard where the crossroads meet. Three sheets in the wind, brick shy of a load. East Houston Blue down a nowhere road. Forty dollar boots, big Bangura hat, stolen money from an inside job. Maybe think about that, baby. I'm a third boy child, my mother's only son, which means exactly nothing without a loaded gun. I don't believe in love, and this I guarantee. If there's a God above, he's got it in for me East Houston Blues, what you want me to say? I need to find me a woman, keep the wolves at bay 
keep my head on straight Or maybe toe the line It's just a blues Ain't no friend of mine So you understand That of which I speak I'm a worried man On a losing streak It's like being back at the old milk club in Nacogdoches, Texas. <laughs> Wait, where in Texas? <laughs> Nacogdoches, Texas. I have no idea where that is. Oh, it's in East Texas in the middle of the piney woods. All right. That's where I, went to, that's where I dropped out of college. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to tell us a little bit more about some of the collaborators that you worked with on this record? You had mentioned uh, Roseanne Cash, who obviously you have a long history. <laughs> Roseanne <with>. Cash, yes. <laughs> Um, and dear, John Paul White. Dear um, friend of mine, John Paul White, a more yes. recent friend of mine. Um, who, also read uh, Cheryl Crow. Is on the Cheryl show. Crow, yeah. We talked about collaborating for a long, long time. And then finally, you know, the twain met. And, uh, and I had this song that, that, uh, that I'd been around for almost 20 years, but I, I hadn't been able to write the narrative, the female narrative for it until... Cheryl said, hey, let's do something. And uh, then I got to work and wrote the, the last part. I wish she was here. We would do it. Uh, it's, it seems like... If you're a, listening, Cheryl. See, well, you'll have time. to get the record to hear it. Uh, <laughs> yes. It's a ploy. That's what that was. It's was available ploy. March 31st. Yes, it is. <laughs> Close ties. Rodney Crowell. <laughs> <laughs> What's the last song you're going to play for us today? I think I'll do this one called uh, I Don't Care Anymore. And... Uh, some years ago, I had this record out that was, uh, you know, the peak of my commercial career in and, uh, and the country music field, and it, it had five number ones in a row. And it was a big deal. It went around for a while. But, you know, I had my 15 minutes of fame and settled into a nice career in the middle class songwriter, Americana caliber, I guess you'd call it. But it in the middle of making uh, writing the songs, I actually stumbled across the old album jacket for the Diamonds and Dirt, that record, and I got a good look at myself. And, <laughs> and you know, really, I said out loud, I said, you poser. <laughs> so I wrote a song about him uh, with, uh, you know, it's like, make fun of yourself, you know, not somebody else. I used to pull my britches on With just one thing in mind Make the girls believe That I'm the last one of my kind Silver toe tips on my boots And a mullet head of hair Designed to walk into the room And make somebody stare But I don't care anymore If I don't stand out in a crowd I was better off before I tried to make my mother proud I came to town a dreaming I could make my mark in spades Forty odd years later all my best cards have been played Well it's a hard knock situation When the accolades bestowed on your every last creation Cries out in the middle of the road But I don't care anymore About the fortune or the fame I was better off before I tried to make myself a name All that money that I blew through Like some boot black off the farm 
could not have vanished quicker if I'd have shot it in my arm. Some so and so says, Don't you know uh, the limit is the sky? The next thing I remember, I'm unlearning how to fly, but I don't care anymore. Party dolls and favors that I savored from day one Add up to next to nothing after all is said and done And a real friend tried to tell me, man, with all respect for you The time to put away these things is long since overdue If indeed I do get lonesome in my mansion on a hill There's this neighbor's wife I covered for her beauty and her skill The way she puts herself together Sleek and vagabond couture Makes each mailbox conversation One more heartache to endure But I don't care anymore Who does what and why? I was better off before When I was just another guy I've been lied on, spied on, cried on, tried on Taken for a ride, you bet Fracked, cracked, smacked, jack What you see is what you get I've been spit at, hit at, quit at, shit at Shouldn't hurt a bit at what I'm trying to get at Fool me once, shame on me Fool me twice and put the blame on I don't care anymore I don't care Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I saw that you're playing at the Aretha Franklin tribute tonight at Carnegie Hall. Yeah, that is. If if I can get in the door, yes. If they'll let me in, I think so. I'll do it. How has Aretha inspired you um, over the years? Well, you know. How can you condense that into like a thirty second clip? One of the greatest singers of all time. So much so that I even wrote a song about her. Well, I, I put her. I put her in a song. One of the reasons to stay alive. A narrative in this song called Earthbound. Tom Waits, Aretha Franklin, Mary Carr, Walter Cronkite, Seamus Haney, Ringo Starr, the Dalai Lama, and Charlie Brown make me want to stick around. So that was my list of, she's on it. You know, Baby I Love You is one of the great recordings. You make me feel like a natural woman. Mm -hmm. uh, I love Aretha Franklin. Who doesn't? <laughs> She's playing at Carnegie Hall, or rather, this tribute is at Carnegie Hall in New York City tonight. Where will you be touring uh, coming up? Oh, I'll be in, uh, I don't know the actual dates, maybe 22nd in uh, Kansas City, and then St. Louis, and Chicago, New York City, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., San Francisco, Los Angeles at the Troubadour, May 7th, 8th, 9th in there. I, you know, I'll take it a day at a time, sadly. But I do know I'm going these places. Good, good. And, I, you know, you can check my website. I'm pretty sure it's rodneycrowell.com. It is and indeed. Good. I Obviously. never go there. I don't, I, you know, self-consciousness is the enemy of art, I always say. So the, <laughs> the less I know about myself, the better. Well, for anyone tuning in, that is Rodney, RodneyCrowell.com, also Facebook page. All those tour dates are listed there. Thank yeah. you so much for being here Thank with us. Thank you. It was amazing. It is my pleasure. It's our honor for, you to have, for us to have you here. Thank you, Hillary. <laughs>